Hello everyone, Mav Hunter here. Just doing a tour of my 2021 elk hunting, elk season camping spot. And there we are. The tent is a Rainier canvas wall tent. It's a size 10 by 12. But it's heavy duty canvas, so with the wood stove, it's quite warm. I just got a simple green tarp over the top to shed some of the rain that we've been having off of it. I've got an option here of extending the front out six additional feet, but since I'm hunting solo and alone this year, I opted not to set up the front canvas extension because if the canvas gets wet, it's just one more thing I need to dry out before I store it away for another year, but the tent works great. And here's my Wells Cargo storage trailer that I store my tent and all my gear in. Um, I've got my kitchenette set up inside my tent this year, like I said, because I'm solo, but usually I use the trailer for two things. I use it for my pantry, and which I'm doing, and I also use it as a cook station and wash station and stuff. But uh, my cook station is simple. It's just in the tent, two burner camp stove plus the wood stove. But also the trailer locks up pretty securely so I can put valuables in there when I'm out hunting. And speaking of which, there's my 2001 Toyota Tundra four wheel drive. Man, that's been one reliable truck. So knock on wood, uh, hopefully it'll serve me well for the next few years. There you can see the wood stove coming out the sidewall of the tent. And I've got my stack of wood there covered by the silver tarp. And then when I leave, yes, it's a game camera that shoots video and pictures. Just over this hill, about a thousand yards downhill, I mean straight downhill, is, the, is a private property line for a ranch. But it's beautiful country. Today's Thursday, so I got two more days. Doesn't open until Saturday morning for the Washington State rifle elk season. Good evening, everyone. This is Mav Hunter. It's a Thursday night, two nights before the Washington State General Rifle elk season opens. And of course, I don't know why, but I couldn't sleep. So I got up, uh, there's been a lot of trucks go by. The 10th truck just went by a few minutes ago. So it's kind of keeping me awake. Uh, I don't know, they're going up the old logging road uh, next to my camp about a hundred feet away and uh, Setting up camp in the dark, I guess. But anyway, I thought I'd give you a little tour of the tent Right here you can see my wood stove it's Nice and warm. It's got a flickering fire in it right now. It'll slowly burn all night That's the front door area there That's a hat that's hanging on my drying rack which I have here. There's some clothes hanging up on my drying rack in case they get wet. It's so the wood stove puts out a lot of heat and it dries them out. And in the corner there is my little cook station area, two burner propane stove and my pots and pans and stuff. Usually I put my cook kitchen in the Wells cargo trailer, but I'm all alone, so I'm just doing a little cooking in here. But if I cook anything greasy or anything like that, which I usually won't, uh, I'll put my clothes in the trailer because I don't want them to smell like a cooked hamburger or something. Kind of do a circle. Here's my little six foot Costco table where I have various personal items and also some cooking supplies on the right. And there's my little 
AM FM weather transistor radio, which I really like. There's a corner of the tent. There's my rifle. And this is the back of the tent. Back behind the clothes here is a zippered window, so I can zip that open if I want. There's the clothes hanging up near the ceiling again, in case they get wet. They dry really quick overnight with the wood stove going. And there's my sleep system, which consists of a cot, a pad, an air pad, a 10 degree sleeping bag, and on top of it is a 20 degree quilt. And it's been so warm in the tent with the wood stove, I'm sleeping on top of the sleeping bag underneath the quilt. But I see with some uh, low 30 temperatures here in the forecast, I will then put the quilt inside the 10 degree sleeping bag, essentially giving me a sleep system that's good for to 10 to 15 below zero. There's a little side table I keep next to my bed in case I wake up in the middle of the night like I have, where I have a light, some reading glasses and stuff like that. That's a wash bucket right there that I'll flip over to take sort of a sponge bath shower with. I'll show you the shower tent outside. And there's there's my wood stove with a uh, five gallon stainless steel water tank attached on the left hand side. So that gives me instant hot water uh, whenever I need it. Now, it's midnight now, so I guess I'll turn this off and Go back to bed and try to get some sleep before Friday morning. Mav Hunter out.